Hello everybody, I'm back again. So today I am here to finally share my little 8-pack. <laughs> I decided to create a little, um, a small kit. These, um, of my stains, these are, um, 2-ounce jars. So as you could see, I don't have, oh, here. That's the difference. This is a 2-ounce, this is a 4-ounce. Which, sorry for the different color of bottles, but it's, you know, it's hard to just get one color. I need to just order a bunch of them one color and not have to change them. But this, um, this is the difference, guys. This is a four ounce. This is a two ounce. So I decided to make a kit uh, with all the colors. Because to me, you know, a lot of times when we order stuff, you know, you see something you want to try, but you don't know if you're going to like it. Um, so I thought it'd be awesome to get a small kit where you could just, you know, try out all the, all the, the colors and, you know, like, let's say, you know, okay, I don't really care for this pink one. So, you know, you know, you already tried it. So, but you know, oh, I like the vintage. So then you would order the big jar, you know, but it's like a tester kit, I guess I want to say. So I thought this would be a cool idea, you know, um, just to have all the colors to play with. And you can use them not only in paper crafts. I mean, you can use them in your art. A lot of people are using them for mixed media. Uh, which, you know, I need to make some time to do some of the, the techniques that they do out there. And um, it's pretty cool, you know. Uh, somebody just recently showed me... Um, what kind of paper was it? Um, I want to say uh, parchment paper or deli paper and uh she added some of the the vintage stains and she sent me a picture i wish i, I should have brought it to show it to you guys on my phone but you know my phone's recording but um it looked awesome i love the way that looked you know so yeah i mean people are doing so many different things that i haven't even thought about so yeah guys so i decided to do this thinking you know that maybe this is a a way to get all the colors and um, of course the price is not that not as much as you know the regular size ones but uh, yeah I just wanted to do a shout out and let you guys know that this is now listed on my Etsy and I also wanted to take advantage and um, do a giveaway um, this set is actually going to be for a giveaway um, all you have to do is leave your name be a subscriber like the video and let me know that you want to be entered and this is for you know um for everyone um you know out of out of the country out of the state it doesn't matter just everybody will get to participate so i'll have this as a giveaway so let me know what you guys think about my cute little kit that i love and um make sure to leave a message make sure you're a subscriber so that you can be entered in the giveaway I'm probably going to do it, let's see, today is Sunday. <clears throat> uh, what do you guys think? Should we give it a week or less? Yeah, you know what? Today is Sunday the 1st, so I'm going to do it till next Sunday. And that would be what, the 8th, 7th? I need a calendar. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to run it for a whole week. Today is the first, Sunday the first. I'm going to run it for a whole week. I will list the details just to make sure I set the right date. Um, but it's going to be for a week. And uh, then we'll uh, we'll do the drawing and see who wins. But yeah, guys, let me know what you guys think about this kit. I'm excited to, to hear you, what you guys think. Because I am excited for it. So... And I'm going to take advantage of this video that I know it's not going to be that long to show you on, on my last, no, not my last video. One of my videos, I said that I was working on a project playing with envelopes and this is it. I ended up decorating it on the video. I said I hadn't decorated it. I just wanted to share real quick. Um, I want to make more because I thought these were just really cute as a gift to somebody like that. You know, it just, it's. It, they're cute <laughs> this is a woodland theme kit from my porch prints i just can't remember the name right now off the top of my head but it's from um from my porch prints 
and look at that guys how cute is that look at that paper like wow you know little bunny right there and this is an envelope that just flips you have a, a tag right here wait a minute am i in frame yes i am i have a tag right here and these are just plain tags that i popped in here and you have a little journaling card that came with the kit and i just added some of this um i guess it's like a masking paper on the bottom just to um give it that extra pop on the embellishments and i love how it turned out these are the kits this is from another kit victorious here is this is the only thing that's not an envelope i use cardstock and i just made a little pocket there and then on the back you got a little journaling card that it's this is not going to be there but it had gotten wet <laughs> thanks to my kids so i popped it in there because i wanted something in there but that won't be in there and then here this is another envelope and i just went ahead and added some of these i know some of these are from uh tracy fox and some of them are from nick the booksmith so way in the back you have this tag see this one the same thing happened Ugh. i'm gonna see if i could try to uh salvage them if not then you know oh well another plain um tag and then in here you have another pocket and i added one of these little uh library um cards so i could pop it back in there it you gotta pop it straight because i cut this piece here and i glued it so that's why if you go that way it'll get it dinged so maybe on the next one that I do, I won't do that, but I do like the way it looks. And we'll see. And then here, another little um, little um, tag in there. But I thought it came out really cute. It was very fun. It's got a lot of stuff in there. I mean, you could even add ephemera, just ephemera, and carry with you for your little journaling. Um, you know, you go visit somebody, you can pop some some cute ephemera here i was gonna add a pocket here but i mean i couldn't cover the bunny but uh, my plan was to add a, a corner pocket here then i had also thought the original idea this was supposed to go oh well it's not decorated but it was supposed to have this one in the front but then i kind of did not like that idea so i took it off but yeah guys really cute i love the way it looks they're very simple so i plan to make more of these and uh, maybe do a uh, some uh, pocket kits and you know this would be one of them and then i also decided to do this this was a i love the way it turned out guys this is with leftover stuff from the bee journal that i was working on um i'll probably add it to the other bee journal that i'm gonna make but I love the way it turned out, guys. It's, um, it's, I think it's half of an envelope. I'm not sure why I cut it in half. But I had this piece, so I collaged it. And next thing you know, I'm decorating it. And I love the way it turned out. And then I just went ahead and added a tag. And popped it in there. And then I added a little, um, eyelid in there. And how cute is that, guys? And this is this would be a floating pocket. Now, unless you want to glue it down, then you wouldn't decorate the back. But I thought it'd be cute just to have it, um, have it. Uh, what do you call it? You know, floating, move it around your your journal. But yeah, I love the way it turned out, guys. Let me know what you guys think about my two little projects, and let me know. Maybe we could make one together. Um, other than that, thank you 